viewers welcome to my channel bala's english today in this class we are going to learn about interrogative sentences how to change these interrogative sentences from direct to indirect speech so this class is all about changing interrogative sentences from direct to indirect speech okay now already we have seen assertive imperative and exclamatory sentences changing them from direct to indirect speech okay in today's class we will deal with interrogative sentence okay. when we take the interrogative sentence it denotes questions so when i say interrogative question or interrogative sentence that means that sentence is in the question form okay now in the interrogative sentence you have two types one is wh questions the other one is s no questions what is this wh questions and uh, what uh, mean by s r no questions wh questions deal with letter w and h for example why where when how all those questions which starts with the letter w or h are called as wh questions and you have to answer them correctly for example uh, where are you going so you have answer is i am going to chennai or i am going to vijayawada something like that now when you ask the second type is s or no questions we don't expect any answer except yes or no for example do you like ice cream do you like ice cream your answer will be yes or no so that's why the name has come s or no questions and wh questions now suppose if you take yes or no questions mostly these questions are framed using auxiliary verbs okay now wh questions are framed with the letter w and h so shall we go for some examples and conversion of these questions into indirect speech from direct speech okay now let's deal with w i mean why yes or no questions first now yes or no questions do you play tennis what will be your answer either yes or no so this is and it is also not framed with w or h so we call it as a yes or no question do you play tennis question mark open quotations close quotations rat said so this is in the direct speech because these are the words of raj do you speak tennis i mean do you play tennis okay so now we have to convert this sentence into indirect speech who said who is the speaker raj so raj asked question is always asked or inquired okay so you are reporting verb will be raj asked and whenever you get s r questions you have to use either whether or if whether or you can use also if so after the verb you have to say raj asked whether okay now do you you could be i or you could be he because uh, the object is not mentioned so raj asked whether he played tennis why you say played because the verb is play present tense so you have to change the verb to past tense as per the rules what we have seen already so raj asked whether this is very important raj asked whether he played tennis that's all okay now next sentence ram said are you living in chennai are you living in chennai okay so ram inquired if i used if because you should know you can use either whether or if okay this also you can write if you told you require you can write using whether also nothing wrong you can use either whether or if in the indirect speech for the sentences interrogative w i mean why yes or no questions now ram inquired if he was living in chennai now see are you living what tense is this 
present continuous tense. When we change it to indirect speech, the present continuous will change. It will be changed into past continuous tense. Sarvan inquired if he was living in Chennai. Now the next example is the man said, "Can you buy fruits for me?" Can has to be changed to could. That you already know. So the man said, "Can you buy fruits for me?" So the man asked if I. It can be you all. I mean, uh, he or she also because the subject is not mentioned, the object is not mentioned. You can write he or you or she. Okay, as for your discretion. So the man asked if I. Can becomes could if I could buy fruits for him. So what are the changes you made dealing with yes or no questions from direct to indirect? So you have to change the verb. You have to put whether this is a very important thing, whether or if you have to ask. Okay, you have to put it in the sentence of indirect speech. Rajas, whether I play tennis. Ram inquired whether I was living in Chennai. The man asked whether I could buy the buy fruits for him. Or Raj asked if I play tennis. Ram inquired if I was living in Chennai. The man asked if I could buy fruits for him. So this is a very important thing. Whenever we deal with S R A questions, you have to write whether or if, and don't forget to change the tense. Okay, and the rule applies as you have seen for. Assertive sentences as regard to tense. Okay. Now, what is the next part? Is W H questions. W H questions already I explained. It starts with W or H. For example, Why are you late? Where did you go? How did you buy? Okay. So, when are you coming? So, all these questions are started with the verb with the letter W or H. Okay. So that's why we call them as W H questions. Now let's see how to change W H questions from direct to indirect speech. Okay. Now I have given five examples changing, converting rather direct to indirect speech. Let's see. Where are you going? Because this starts with the letter W. This is a W H question. Where are you going? He said to me. He said to me. So the object is given me. So he asked me where because he asked me I. So this you is referring to me. That is I. Where I was going. See, are going. This is what it is. A continuous tense, present continuous. So where are you going? Will be changed into he asked me where I was going. So after putting the Question that is where, why? Then only you have to place the subject. Now here, where are you going? Now after the verb only you get the subject here. But when you convert it into indirect speech, after the word where or when or what, immediately what you get the subject. Here you get the verb. Here you get the subject. Got it? So he asked me where I was going. Okay. Next one. What did you buy this afternoon? What did you buy this afternoon? So she asked to him. She asked him. Okay. She asked him. What did she ask? What did you buy? Is the verb. Did you buy? What tense is it? Past tense. Because did plus buy becomes past. Okay. It can be a word. What you bought also, but that is not the right way as asking questions. So what did you buy indicates past tense. So when you have to change the past tense verb from direct to indirect speech, you know that it becomes past perfect tense. You have to use past perfect tense. So she asked him what he had bought. So after the word what you are writing the subject. So he she asked him what he had bought. So buy did buy that is bought has become had bought past perfect. So she asked him what he had bought that afternoon. This afternoon has become that afternoon. Okay. So she asked him what he had bought that afternoon. Okay. Now the third example is how will you solve the problem? How will you solve the problem? 
the verb is will. You know that will will be changed to would. So, how will you solve the problem? He said to the student. He said to the student. So, he asked, will your teacher ask the student, how will you solve the problem? So, she asked, okay, this is he, okay, because we put he. So, he asked students, he asked the students, how, because they are plural, students, they, they will become would. How they would solve the problem. So, he asked the students how they would solve the problem. After how, what did you get? The subject. Okay. So, he asked the students how they would solve the problem. Okay. Next one. Fourth one. Is, when will he arrive? She asked. When will he arrive? So, how are you going to change? She asked when he would arrive. When he would arrive. Okay. When she asked when he would arrive. Okay. Now last sentence. Who has been borrowing books? Who has been? See the verb has been. Has been present perfect tense. Okay. Who has been borrowing? So present perfect continuous tense. Who has been borrowing? He said. So now you are going to change. He asked who had been past perfect continuous tense. So who had been borrowing books? So he asked who had been borrowing books. Okay. So this is how you will convert WH questions from direct speech to indirect speech. Okay. Got it. So with this we complete the topic of direct and indirect speech. We have seen four types of sentences, assertive, imperative, exclamatory and interrogative sentences. So for each sentence I dealt changing them from direct to indirect speech in each video. Okay, in particular video respectively. So you will have four videos on direct and indirect speech so that if you watch these videos Okay, systematically you can answer the questions from converting sentences from direct to indirect speech. Okay, hope you understood the lesson. So we will have a quiz on direct and indirect speech mixing all types of sentences and hope we will have it sooner and you can do it very well after revising these videos. So if you like these videos, please click the like button, share it to your friends and also subscribe the channel. Thank you.